in the lovely Milky Way galaxy. So today's rundown of everything I'm going to talk about, we're going to talk about the 49ers to start the vlog, then we're going to go on to the um, weekly task update for this week, for this past week I should say, and then go over the ones for next week, and then uh, we're going to talk about something that's happening tomorrow, which is the five years of consecutive daily vlogging. Which means I haven't missed a single day for the past 1,825 days as of tomorrow. And then we're going to do birthday, and then we're going to say goodbye and do my outro. So let's just start with the biggest thing that I wanted to talk about. I realized that after ta thinking about it a little bit further, that there's nothing wrong. I mean, there is something wrong with some of the officials in the NFL. Because they make ticky-tack uh, penalty calls that should not be called. And I've said that time and time again in, in any football game I've ever watched. Whether it's a 49ers game, whether it's a, you know another game that has ticky-tack penalties that shouldn't be called. That get called for no, apparently no reason. Um, and it just, it just upset me that the referees called 11 penalties, which... Like, I want to say two or three of them shouldn't have been called uh, on the 49ers today, or yesterday, I should say, not today, yesterday. And then there was, you know, only three that the Bears got called for. I mean, what kind of, what kind of one-sided penalty battle is that? That's just, that's just, that just doesn't add up to me. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, the Niners had it, had everything clicking in the first half, and then they just disappeared in the second half. I mean, it doesn't make sense why they called so many penalties on one team and the other team did get, hardly get any penalties called on them. I mean, what is that? Anyways, I wanted to say what the final score was of the game. And that is, um, it was the Bears won it 19-10 to over the 49ers. And then next week, the 49ers are playing the Seahawks in Santa Clara, which it's a home, it's their home opener. So maybe we'll have better luck. I just I just didn't uh, one one final thing. I just did not agree with how they treated or they used or or what they needed to do. But Trey Lance did not look good to me, and I'm sure there's a lot of individuals who are 49ers fans that thought the exact same way that I feel. It's that, or not every single Fortnite fan, but just a, a few of us out there believe that Trey Lance era has, shouldn't have started just yet. I realize that, you know, that they're testing the waters with him, but when you go 2-2 two and two as a quarterback, compared to what Jimmy Garoppolo did with the Niners for the past however many years it's been now, you know, you know, Jimmy Garoppolo got us to a Super Bowl, and we were one play away from winning that said Super Bowl. And I don't know if Trey Lance can do that just yet. I think he needs a little bit more time to develop, a little bit more time to you know get that footing he needs to become that you know that the greatest of all time. It may take a year, it may take two years, it may take three years, but just right now. I feel like you have to have Jimmy G be the quarterback because Trey Lance just did not look like like Jimmy G did when he took us to you know the playoffs every year he was quarterback or not every year but you get the point he took us to the playoffs and it just doesn't seem like to me that uh, Trey Lance is ready to be quarterback that, now that doesn't mean that he won't ever be you know ready to be quarterback. He'll be quarterback, you know, in the future at some point. It's just, right now, it just doesn't look like he wants to be that quarterback that takes us to the Super Bowl. Whereas Jimmy G has already done it. Sure, we may have lost that game, but it just doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like that to me. So, moving right along on to um, last week. So, I watched 11 films on DVD, Peacock, um, Netflix, and whatever, wherever else I mentioned. Um, 
uh, I read 285 pages of of the Children of Doom, which helped me finish the book. So I finished Children of Doom, which I talked about a couple days ago on the vlog. Um, what else did I do? I got I got closer and closer to um, preparing to getting my second house re you know done, so it looks better, bigger, awesomer. Um, but that's, but that was one thing. Um, I did go see a movie in theaters last week. That was another thing that was on that list that I wanted to talk about. So I went to Barbarian, which is a pretty good horror film. If you, I've, I, I may have mentioned it or may not have that it's a very good film. I highly recommend you go watch it. If you're into that horror, uh, genre of films or thrillers or science, uh, um, or fantasy, or what, or sci-fi, science fiction, or whatever you know, all of that stuff that's getting us ready for the Halloween month next month. Now, what was it? I didn't watch any YouTube videos this week, so that one I didn't actually get to do. Um, so, it, so basically, two things I finished. I went and saw a movie in theaters, and I went and I finished reading a book. Now, for this week. It's the same things are going to apply. It's just change things around. Like, I'm adding HBO Max to um, how many movies I watch on, whether it's on Peacock, Netflix, Apple, um, and so forth and so on. And then the same, Minecraft one's staying there. The YouTube, how many videos on YouTube I can watch are staying there. The, um, the one that I changed a little bit is the movie... I'm uh, going to see movie theater, which I want to go see Pearl on Saturday. So there's that one. Uh, and then, what else? I think that was pretty much it that I changed or, you know, or added to. I don't know what that's going to entail just yet. Um, I might be going to see that movie on Saturday with a friend from high school days. Um, now, the next thing is, tomorrow is a big day on this channel. Now, I realize that not everyone, you know, thinks that five years of consecutive daily vlogging is a big deal. Because for some of you, you know, it may not be. But for me personally, I don't think I could have ever, you know, imagined getting to this five years of consecutive daily vlogging. I assure you that, you know, I still have today before I can say that. But tomorrow, like I said, it's going to be a big day. We're going to talk about... You know, doing this, I've been vlogging, I've, I've posted a vlog every single day since September 13th of 2017, which means that that's five years I've been doing it consecutively. And I don't know what's going to happen in the next five years. It could be an amazing journey that you guys come with, along with me, along for the ride with me on this. But we'll just have to wait and see how that all turns out. So what you should take away from this is that um, I'm not sure I'm not 100 sold on Trey Lance's quarterback just yet. Maybe I will be in the future. Um, I go over everything that I did over the past week and set some new uh, tasks to do in the new week and getting ready for tomorrow's big day, which is five years of consecutive day of vlogging without missing a single day. Which means that's 1,825 days uh, consecutively that I've done. I, I realize that, but that's tomorrow. We'll talk a whole lot more about that tomorrow. Now, we've got one birthday to wish. I want to wish uh, Sydney Sweeney a happy 25th birthday today. And I, and I did that on her Instagram, but I'm sure you can follow, you can do it on her Twitter or wherever else you may follow her or subscribe to her or whatever you want to do if you want to do it on a movie that she's starting. I don't know how you would do that though. Um, but just yeah. So happy birthday Sydney. Uh, and I might watch a few of her movies, watch a few of her TV shows today at some point. Whether it's whether it's on Apple, whether it's on Netflix, wherever I can find her uh, movies that she starred in or or watching a Euphoria, which she plays Cassie in. Uh, just some of those things that I want to do. So, I will have a brand new vlog for you tomorrow. Talking 
all about the five years that I've done consecutively, and bye-bye.